I'll always remember Christmas 2019 um, because we did our end of year Christmas campaign where we sent gifts to our customers um, and every single aspect of it was manual. We, we bought something like a hundred cardboard boxes of various shapes and sizes from Amazon. We, we had three different, we segmented our customer list into tiers, tier one, tier two, tier three, based on ARR and a few other things as well from the CSMs. Um, and we had three individual sets of gifts that went to each individual one of them. We had a tick box where we'd literally, okay, this customer gets this, put it in this box, handwritten note from the CSM. I mean, literally asking the CSMs to write over a hundred handwritten notes. Um, you know, a hundred sends we needed to organize with DHL for a hundred different boxes to go out all before Christmas. It, it was like, a, I think it was like a good solid two days minimum um, with Reach Desk. That's a relatively simple thing to do. While I wasn't involved in the um, purchasing decision and the decisions that led to us was getting Reach Desk, as I understand it, um, we wanted something um, that, that would enable us to send things to clients, but that was very scalable. So before, I believe, we were just sort of keeping our own inventory of of gifts, um, the very limited office space, um, and attempting to send those out ourselves. And obviously, that's that's not um, it's not practical when you want to do it at a larger scale. We wanted a better selection of gifts. Um, we wanted to be able, obviously, be able to track um, sends and attri attribute that to. Um, to, to business goals and to see how that's driving our pipeline. And one of the things we say about um, our business is that reputation enables brands to manage customer feedback um, at every stage uh, of the customer journey from like brand awareness through to loyalty. And we actually use Reach Desk for, I guess, for um, managing our customer, the customer the experience customers have with us at every stage. So. One of our business goals has been to drive upsells. One way we've 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 tried to, marketing has tried to drive that is through webinars, um, and we did one all around our social listening product. Um, and as part of that, we we got some through Reach Desk. We created some branded headphones, um, kept them in the Reach Desk inventory, and when people attended the webinar, we sent them out um, a pair of nice headphones as as a uh, as a gift and a thank you for coming to attend the webinar. We have quite a large data science team in the US, um, but they operate globally. And what they do is they produce for us quarterly industry reports. And then using those industry reports, which rank both customers and non-customers in terms of their reputation score. So they basically get ranked based specific to their industry within the report um, as to how they're looking online and how their customer experience is and how it's perceived online, social media surveys, reviews, et cetera. <clears throat> now from that, um, yeah, we, we produce a ranking and then we use Reach Desk to send all of the businesses that have ranked, I'll use automotive as an example. We send them a little box with a copy of a printed copy of the, the auto report in this example, a physical trophy that they can display, a handwritten note and a few other things as well. Um, and the, the, the you know the amount of um, feedback we get from that from our customers and non-customers as well, they really appreciate it. They get a physical trophy that they can put up on their in their dealerships. Um, customers send in examples where they've received trophies for two or three or four years, and they've still got the trophies from two or three or four years ago, and and they see it as a very much of an annual thing. They look forward to that. Certainly, our end of year Christmas campaigns have, have been a lot easier since using Reach Desk. The bulk of the effort needs to come from segmenting our customer list beforehand and then reach that pretty much takes care of the rest our head of marketing what she what she what she set up through reach desk was um sending them cinema tickets um or vouchers to get cinema tickets so it's great that you can send things for experiences as well and not just sort of physical items reach desk customer services is a particular strength um for example when we've had queries or technical difficulties because you know our we were our, maybe we weren't sure about how to do something through the platform whenever we've used chat supports we get really quick responses it's nice that it's often the same people so you've got that relationship they're really quick to respond um i don't ever feel like i'm left with a chat bot i feel like i get a human at the other end my advice would be 
um, first of all, consider what your goal, what your goals are. What, why is it you want to send gifts? Um, who you're sending gifts to? All the, all those sort of things. Think of the basics first, and then from there, get your gifting. If you are going to use a gifting platform, which I'd advise them to do, because you no one wants to be <laughs> stuffing thousands of envelopes around Christmas time. Um, I'd advise them to then use those goals to inform any purchase decision they make. Thank you.